enough is enough. And we need to make a change, and the only way that can happen is if we listen to our children at home. We need to have that open conversation with our children and talk to them and let them know what is good touch and what is bad touch. Listen to our children. When they say, Mommy, listen to them. Don't ignore them. Most of the times we're hooked on a novella or hooked on Facebook and we don't listen to our children when they come and they talk to us. Sometimes we leave our children with our grandparents, with a sister, with a friend, with a neighbor. We don't pay for babysitter because it's a, we want that extra $5 to go turn up somewhere. Leave all that behind. If we are going to leave our children with a family member, a neighbor, or a friend, make sure that your child is comfortable. Check on them. Don't leave them there. If you have to call five times to check up on them, call and hear your, your child's voice that they're okay. I have three children, I have a daughter, and I don't want anything to happen to her or to any of my little cousins, my little neighbors, or any of the little girls that are here right now. These kids are our future. We need to protect them, we need to listen to them. I wish more people would have come out because, like I said, I'm a little bit disappointed on everyone that's on Facebook commenting and, and, and it's easy for them to type behind a screen on their mobile device and, and, and be ranting off and that they want a change and they want a change. But the change can only happen if we come out here and make a, and, and, and let's stand together, voice our, our opinions, our mind, so that this can reach to whosoever is up there, so that these laws, these whatever is, is all the injustice, whatever is happening, that it, it, that it comes to an end and that we we want a change, and that's why we are here today, peacefully demonstrating and, 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 and being here present to make a change. Enough is enough. I am, I, it frustrates me, it makes me, it, 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 I can imagine everybody at home how they feel when we hear the news, when we hear, um, I, I, I quite frankly, I don't like listening to the news because I get angry. I get angry when I hear, uh, my brother is shot, my sister is shot, my, some, because we're all brothers and sisters, so I call everybody brothers and sisters. I am angry, I get angry when I hear these things happening out there, and they don't get the, 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 the right justice, they don't get the right punishment, and we are tired of it, and that's why we are here to, to talk about this, to, to let this message get out there, because enough is enough. Everybody, enough is enough. I would like everybody to stretch a hand towards Miss Adma because one of the things that happened when she went to go and get the permit, the question was who is backing her? And we want the whole nation to know that we are backing her, yeah. even those who are not here. Let her feel the strength, let her feel the power, let her feel that she's not alone and that she will not be isolated, yeah. that we are all one voice. So we're going to, as the brother suggested, Go into prayer. Ms. Adma, I want to pray for you and I want everybody to stretch their hand towards her so that she has the courage, the strength, and the wisdom, not of her own self, yeah. but through the grace of God. Everybody stretch their hand toward Ms. Adma and we call our Lord to come into this conversation that we use wisdom. Heavenly Father, we love you, we adore you, we worship you, we bless your holy name. Thank you for this woman of God who has had the courage of Esther, the courage of Abigail to come out and stand up. I am going to face the king. If I perish, I perish. I will go to face the king because we are facing the king of kings and the lord of all. And so we ask you, dear God, to cover her from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Because God has not given us a spirit of fear. We must not be afraid. We have the power, we have the authority to walk through this and overcome. Because this is a time of length. This is a time of healing. This is a time of restoration. This is a time to break every chain once and for all. So it is not just enough, it is enough.